In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about levothyroxine, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you are about to start thyroxine or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer three frequently asked questions in my clinics. Does thyroxine cause weakening of the bones, also called osteoporosis? Does it cause hair loss? Can it cause weight loss? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. This video will help you to understand more about thyroxine and allow you to make an informed decision about taking it. So let's get started. So what is levothyroxine? Levothyroxine is a medicine used to treat an underactive thyroid gland called hypothyroidism. It is a synthetic version, or you could say an imitation of a natural hormone in your body called thyroxine. So it replaces thyroxine if your thyroid gland cannot produce enough, and it helps prevent the symptoms of hypothyroidism. So what is the function of thyroxine in the body? The thyroid gland in your neck makes thyroxine, which controls how much energy your body uses, or sometimes explained as the body's metabolic rate. It's also involved in digestion, how your heart and muscles work, brain development and bone health. When the thyroid gland does not make enough thyroxine, many of the body's functions slow down. Some of the most common symptoms of an underactive thyroid gland are tiredness, feeling cold, difficulty concentrating, weight gain and feeling depressed. So who can take levothyroxine? It can be taken by most adults and children. However, it's not suitable for some people. Check with your healthcare provider before taking it if you have ever had an allergic reaction to levothyroxine or any other medicine. If you have an overactive thyroid that produces too much thyroid hormone. If you have a health problem that affects your adrenal glands. If you have a heart problem, including angina, heart disease or heart failure. If you have high blood pressure. If you have ever had a heart attack. Or if you have diabetes, because the dose of your diabetes medicine may need to change because levothyroxine can raise blood sugar levels. So when do you take levothyroxine? Take it once a day in the morning ideally at least 30 minutes before having breakfast or a drink containing caffeine like tea or coffee. That's because food and caffeinated drinks can stop your body absorbing levothyroxine properly so it does not work as well. It starts working straight away but it may be several weeks before your symptoms start to improve. Please be aware that if you stop taking levothyroxine your symptoms are likely to come back. So what is the correct dose? The dose varies from person to person and you may need to take several different tablets to make up your dose. Levothyroxine comes in 12.5, 25, 50, 75 and 100 microgram tablets. Although starting doses are usually the same, the dose of levothyroxine you end up taking or how quickly the dose is increased depends on your symptoms hormone levels, age and whether you have any other health problems. Adults usually start with a dose between 50 micrograms and 100 micrograms taken once a day. This may be increased gradually over a few weeks to between 100 to 200 micrograms taken once a day. Some people such as over 50s or people with heart disease may start on a lower dose. So how do you take levothyroxine? Swallow the tablets whole with a drink of water. Now it is available as a liquid for children and people who find it difficult to swallow tablets and it is available in different strengths. So what do you do if you forget to take it? If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember unless it's almost time for your next dose. In this case, just skip the forgotten dose and take the next one at the usual time. Do not take two doses together to make up for a missed dose. If you often forget doses, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. Now what happens if you take too much? 
Taking more than your prescribed dose of levothyroxine can give you symptoms such as a racing heartbeat or palpitations. And contact your healthcare provider if you take more than one extra dose of levothyroxine. And contact the emergency services if you get chest pains. These may not happen immediately, but it can be several days before they begin. So having regular blood tests. Your healthcare provider will do regular blood tests to check the levels of your thyroid hormones in your body before and after starting levothyroxine. These will allow your doctor to adjust the dose to suit you. At the start of treatment, you can expect to have blood tests quite often, but once your hormone levels are stable and your symptoms are under control, your levels will usually be checked once a year. You may need blood tests more often if you are pregnant, if you start or stop a medicine that can affect the way levothyroxine works, or you have any symptoms that could mean your dose is not quite right. Side effects. Like all medicines, levothyroxine can cause side effects, although not everyone gets them. Once you are on the right dose of levothyroxine, side effects should go away. Now tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have switched to a different brand of levothyroxine and start to get symptoms of an underactive thyroid, including feeling tired, weight gain or feeling depressed. If you have symptoms of an overactive thyroid that are similar to the common side effects which I will talk about next, you may be sensitive to the new brand of levothyroxine you have been prescribed and you may need to stay on the one that you were taking before. Common side effects. So the common side effects usually happen if the dose you're taking is more than you need. These side effects usually go away after you go on to a lower dose of levothyroxine or stop treatment. Common side effects are the same as the symptoms of an overactive thyroid, such as feeling sick, being sick, diarrhea, headaches, feeling restless or excitable or problems sleeping, flushing or sweating, muscle cramps, shaking, usually of the hands, serious side effects. Now it happens rarely, but some people may have serious side effects when taking levothyroxine. Contact your healthcare provider if you get fast or irregular heartbeats and contact the emergency services if you get chest pain. And in rare cases, it's possible to have a serious allergic reaction. Now, these are not all the side effects of levothyroxine. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Cautions with other medicines. Now, some medicines can affect thyroid hormones, so the dose of levothyroxine may need to be changed. So they include epilepsy medicines like carbamazepine and phenytoin, rifampicin, amiodarone, and estrogens such as in the combined contraceptive pills or hormone replacement therapy, HRT. Levothyroxine can affect how other medicines work, so their doses may need to be changed. And these medicines include some medicines for diabetes, whether it's insulin or tablets, and warfarin that's used to prevent blood clots. Some medicines should not be taken at the same time of day as levothyroxine, as they can reduce the amount of levothyroxine your body takes in. So these include antacids, calcium salts, iron salts, orlistat, which is a medicine used for weight loss, sucralophate, a medicine used to treat stomach ulcers, some cholesterol-lowering medicines such as cholestyramine, cholestipol, or cholecevalim. Now tell your doctor if you're trying to get pregnant, you're pregnant, or you're breastfeeding. So which food and drinks should you avoid? There are some foods and drinks that do not mix well with levothyroxine, these include drinks containing caffeine, like coffee, tea, and some fizzy drinks. These can reduce the amount of levothyroxine your body takes in. So leave at least 30 minutes after taking levothyroxine before you can drink them. Calcium-rich foods, such as milk, cheese, yogurt, and broccoli, 
These can reduce the amount of levothyroxine your body takes in. Leave at least four hours between taking levothyroxine and eating calcium-rich foods. Soya in food and supplements may stop levothyroxine working properly. If you regularly eat soya or take soya supplements, your doctor might need to do extra blood tests to make sure you're getting enough thyroxine. Kelp, a type of seaweed, can contain high levels of iodine, which sometimes make an underactive thyroid worse. Do not take supplements containing kelp if you're taking levothyroxine. And biotin supplements can affect the accuracy of thyroid function tests. Do not take biotin without talking to your doctor. And drinking alcohol. You can drink alcohol while taking levothyroxine. It does not affect how the medicine works. However, if you do have side effects such as headaches, flushing or sweating with levothyroxine, alcohol may make these worse. Some frequently asked questions in my clinic are related to the long-term side effects. High doses of levothyroxine taken over a long time can sometimes cause weakening of the bones, also called osteoporosis. This should not happen if you are on the right dose. It's important to have regular blood tests to make sure you're on the right dose and your dose is not too high. Another question is related to hair loss. It's having an underactive thyroid that causes hair loss, not the actual treatment with levothyroxine. Because the natural hair growth cycle takes several months, hair loss related to thyroid disease might only be seen months after the condition has begun. If treatment with levothyroxine has already started, it may seem like the medicine is causing the hair loss rather than the underlying illness that's causing the hair loss. Hair usually regrows after treatment with levothyroxine, but it may take many months. And the last question is related to weight loss. One of the symptoms of an underactive thyroid gland is weight gain. So once you start taking levothyroxine, you may lose weight as your body's hormones rebalance. Losing weight can also be a sign that your dose of levothyroxine is too high. Once your thyroid hormone levels have returned to normal, your tendency to gain or lose weight is the same as for people who do not have thyroid problems. I will provide all the links to the studies below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos and please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you've enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. You can also check out my other videos.